So this is the Yama, Yama Tanuki. It's basically a bait you fish weightless. I've got on a five aught Hayabusa offset worm hook. And I'll just kind of flip it in a lot of the holes where you'd flip a creature bait or something. But it, the way it falls, it just, it shimmies that little tail just kind of, it's just super natural. But here's the cool thing about the Yama Tanuki. You can cast it out like this, let it sink. A lot of times if you just throw a Yamamoto Senko, which is probably the number one bait of all times, um, they hit it on the fall. Well, this one, you can kind of just jig it back and it kind of darts down there on the bottom and it can mimic anything from a, a brim or a crawfish. It's always fun going to a lake throwing something you know these fish have not seen. Dude, I got one. Boy, he had that on there. Oh, <laughs> he was sitting on it for a while. <laughs> he just grabbed it and held on to it. And I thought I was kind of hung in the grass. That was totally my fault. The Yama Tanuki, this is a new bait by Yamamoto. Um, and it's relatively a new technique for most of us. The first thing you're gonna notice is the way it falls. I mean, when it falls, it falls and this little deal shakes. So it's just quivering as it falls. When you twitch it, it wants to dart back and forth real quick. So it, to me, it looks like, you know, it could be a bait fish. I added a little chartreuse to kind of mimic a bluegill on this green pumpkin. But also, if it, once it gets down to the bottom, you can kind of work it back and hover the bottom like a crawfish. You know, a crawfish, when it swims, is real compact. Everything's tucked in nice and tight. And that's kind of what that looks like on the bottom. So on a long cast, with the rod tip down, twitch, 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 you're kind of hovering the bottom like a crawfish. Let it, let it fall and it's gonna get the attention of fish. I've caught a lot of fish doing that in the short amount of time I fished this bait. I saw something move way back up in there. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's like, oh, got him. <sighs> Yama Tanuki. Let me see that. that was cool. I saw him swimming back there and I just, I kind of just twitched it near the surface and it jumped on it. That was pretty cool. Nice. These Yamato baits are really soft and that's what I like about them is when, when a fish grabs it, I mean, like that was just a fast, ferocious bite. When they grab it, it just kind of blows up in their mouth. So you want a soft bait. I mean, you want, you want to make sure you get the best opportunity to hook that fish and that material that Yamamoto uses is by far the best for that. So I've got this on a seven and a half foot. This is a scythe by six gill rod. It's a, a medium heavy. And then I've got it on a seven to one ratio Hamar. And I got it on 17 pound straight fluorocarbon with a five aught Hayabusa round bend hook. And I'm just Texas rigging it. No weight directly to the fluorocarbon. Here we go, you ready? I got one. Little spotted bass, huh? Oh, he, he flung the tanuki. All right? Well, that was on the Yama tanuki. He kicked the bait, it's down there on the floor. Little spotted bass, huh? They love this bait, by the way. All right, so we're gonna rig this Yama tanuki. Just slide it down, oh, about a quarter to half an inch. Get it so it, when you turn it around, it covers up your knot, your line. This is a five aught Hayabusa round bend worm hook. And then the hook is just gonna sit in this little slot. Just pull it back down, just let it sit right there. Keeps it nice and weedless, but it's very easy to collapse when a fish grabs it. Here's the thing about this bait. If you guys go fishing with people who have never really fished before and you wanna get them into the sport of fishing, this is the perfect lure. Um, because for one, it's really easy to cast. It's got a lot of weight built into it because of the, the dimensions of the bait, but also you don't have to do anything and you can't do anything wrong with it. You catch fish just about um, any way with it. As long as it's in the water, there's a chance you're gonna catch a fish with this Yama Tanuki, and that's what I like about it. Tanuki.
beautiful, beautiful bass. That's the young motivate right there. <laughs>